We're looking at the utility towed by dispatch. This is a bag that is designed and made in the US. It's a very handsome looking bag. And I always wonder about when a bag is a toad versus a duffel. So this is a toad. Um, I think how I can justify that is the back itself is not very wide, right? So it's still kind of narrow and tallish, although this back is obviously um, wide this way for a regular toad. So this is a very functional bag, but before I go and show you the inside, it is made of 1680D um, ballistic nylon with a DWR coating. So 1680D, it's a material that is obviously very rugged, but it also feels uh, luxurious and high-end because it has a tighter weave to it. It has multiple carry modes, so there's the handles. Or there's a strap that you can clip on kind of diagonally on this loop and on this loop. And this obviously is uh, length adjustable, so you can carrying it high or low on your body, depending on how much um, length you put in the strap. And these straps are detachable, very much like all the other strap system by dispatch. So these straps are actually very easy to detach if you know how. All you need to do is to push the metal part into the center of the buckle and then press the top down and it will come right up. So the mistake people made is they try to squeeze it first before they push the thing in. So that actually makes it harder. So let me show you it to you again. I just push the metal part in first and then it would just come right up. So if you remove it, then it becomes just a regular um, handle carry tote. One negative thing about the straps or, or these straps is that they have this nice little um, synthetic leather wrap, but the edge are quite sharp. So as I hold it, it's not that comfortable. I almost um, prefer it not having the, um, the uh, leather padded um, strap here. So the way the opening is designed is that it's a center zipper with this optional fold down buckle design. So this reminds me of like a doctor's bag, which is very, very neat. So if you put it down, uh, cinch it down, it has a very tidy look to it, or you can just leave them unbuckle and just kind of leave it as is. To say large, very smooth zip. This is not aqua guard, which is actually good. It's much easier to open and close and is probably not completely water resistant, but I think it's fine. One thing about the design of the flap is that if you want, you can kind of just roll it down a little bit. And then because of the thickness of the material and the zippers all around, the back just kind of stays open, which is kind of nice. So let me show you a view of it inside. So the back will stay open, sit square on your desk, on the beach or whatever, and you can get to the content. Right now it's tend to tip over to the front because I have loaded it up with um, both a 15 inch MacBook Pro and my iPad Pro. So let me show you the inside. On this end, there is actually two different sleeves. The larger one is padded, not highly padded, but slightly padded, and it is um, lifted off the floor, but just a tiny bit. So it's suspended, but not very, very much so. So again, I wouldn't put a expensive laptop as I throw in the back around, but for carrying a laptop uh, as you need them, it's fine. So this is a old style 15 inch MacBook Pro and it fits quite well. Then the front has another little pocket that fits a 11 inch iPad Pro. There is a buckle that you can use to secure the laptop as well. And on this one side has a very large mesh pocket. Right now I have a 20 ounce bottle in there. A uh, typical Bluetooth speaker will fit in there very well as well. 
this it's my um, drone box it's quite a large box and then otherwise it's a big compartment there are two mesh pockets that are lengthwise so half of the height of the baggage they're in a kind of a strange shape but it's still good to have an option of keeping things separate but the top one I put my mini tripod in there on the inside of the bag there's a d-ring here if you um, need to hook in your keys or something finally on the front of the bag there is a small pocket good for a phone it goes up from here to here or snacks or whatever small items that you want to put there I love that they have this um, white color zipper pool so it goes pretty well with this gray fabric color if you look at this webbing here there are two areas that are not sewn in so they're very very tight <laughs> the use I found for it is to hook a pen there maybe a flashlight um, it's a little bit risky right it might comes off but it's a good place for something quick so this is the utility toad by dispatch